Okay, let's talk about basic algebra. And when you first start uh, to learn algebra, study algebra, you start learning things like this. This is a algebraic expression or a variable expression. It looks like, you know, uh, it looks more complicated than what it really is. It's just a, um, again, an expression, right? So if I'm expressing something, I'm expressing a possible uh, numeric value if I plug in some numbers for these variables. And we're gonna do that here because we have x is equal to negative one and y is equal to two. So if I assign a specific number value to these variables, I can uh, plug these numbers, I can replace these variables with these numbers and evaluate this algebraic expression or variable expression. So this is a very basic algebra skill. And uh, effectively what we're gonna do is take this variable expression and turn it into a numeric expression and then use our strong arithmetic, uh, arithmetic skills, which of course I know you have, to simplify and get a final answer. So if you think you know how to do this, I basically kind of laid it out there for you. Go ahead and pause the video and see what you come up with if you think that this is too simple for you. Because I could bet you right here, uh, yeah, maybe like 25% of you are gonna get this wrong, even if you think you know how to do it. But uh, anyways, we're gonna get into exactly how to evaluate an algebraic expression in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I come to the conclusion that every single uh, student out there can, can be successful in math. So if you're failing math, I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in math, but it requires two things. One, you got to work harder, okay? That's the number one thing. You know, make sure you're doing, you know, taking notes, doing all the homework, et cetera. But the second thing you need, and you may not be getting this in school, is super clear and understandable math instruction. And that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, I'm gonna leave links to all my math um, uh, help programs in the description of this video. By the way, if you happen to be preparing for a test like the SAT, ACT, maybe a teacher certification exam, anything with a math section, I can help you out there. And if you need a homeschool course for middle and high school math, I can also help you out. And if you need some math notes, I can help you out as well. I got a ton of stuff. Just check out the description of this video and you'll see the links to all my math help. Okay, so let's get into how to evaluate an algebraic expression. All right, so here we go. This is an algebraic expression because we got uh, variables going on. Uh, this is also referred to as a variable expression. But what we have here um, is basically uh, a problem, and it's very common again in uh, the beginning of algebra, is to evaluate this variable expression or algebraic expression. Well, we can't do, we can't evaluate this unless we get um, or assign some numbers uh, for these variables. So in this case, we're gonna let x uh, negative one equal to x and two is equal to y. So what you need to do is everywhere you see an x right here, we're going to plug in a negative one and then everywhere we see uh, y's, okay, we're gonna plug in uh, two. Now here is a really, really important uh, tip, okay? This will help you avoid making a lot of mistakes. When you plug in values, use parentheses, okay? now. Uh, a lot of you are going to like, ah, I just, you know, I just write the number down that I'm being assigned. I'm telling you right now, if you use parentheses, um, this will help you avoid making a lot of mistakes. So let's go ahead and do this now. Let's start off with uh, our X's for negative one. So this X right there, that's negative one. Okay. Uh, so I can need a negative one right here. Okay. And then right down here, there's a negative one. Of course, Y is two. So that's going to be two squared. Okay. So just following this and then plus Y. So that'd be plus two. And then I have a two down here, X minus Y or uh, negative one minus two. Okay. So you can see here, I'm plugging in all my values uh, using parentheses, right? Use parentheses. I'm telling you right now, I've been doing this for a long, long, long time. This will help you avoid making mistakes. Now, before you do anything else, okay, you want to stop, all right, and stop yourself from doing, uh, just starting to attack the problem here and double check. Did I plug in the right values for X, uh, for Y? You're just kind of double uh, checking because oftentimes you'll be surprised, you'll be like, oh boy, I, I plugged in the wrong value. Um, you know, there's a lot going on here, right? So you can fix it before you actually start doing the math, okay? I've graded tens of thousands of, 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 of uh, papers through the years, um, 
math problems, and it's kind of crazy. Uh, I've seen students plug in the wrong values here, okay, basically making a new problem, but they do that problem perfectly right. So if this was, in fact, the problem, okay, they would have got the right answer. However, they did the wrong problem because they plugged in the wrong values. So again, don't uh, find yourself in that situation. All right, so at this point, uh, if you understand exactly what I'm talking about, go ahead and simplify this into one value. All right, now this is where your arithmetic skills are going to come into play, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. If you want to um, pause the video, put your answer into the comment section, I think that would be pretty fun. But let's go ahead and start to simplify this. Of course, you're going to need to know how to work with positive and negative numbers, fractions, order of operations, all that good stuff. All right, so here I'll, I'll focus in on the numerator for a second. I see powers, so I have 2 squared, that's going to be 4, so that's going to be negative 1 uh, times this 4. I have minus a minus right there, so that's going to be plus 1, okay? The opposite or negative of a negative 1 is going to be plus 1, so I have negative 1. Uh, I can still got to do this here, negative 1 times 4 plus 1 plus 2. Now let's work on the uh, denominator for a second. I have negative 1 minus 2, so that is going to be negative 3, and I'm going to have to square that. So when you're um, whittling your work down here, don't take too many steps, uh, you know, in one. Uh, in other words, don't do too many calculations in one step. Okay, take a few things so your teacher and yourself can double check this. So at this point, you're saying, okay, that's four. That was two squared minus minus one. Okay, that's uh, that step. That's plus one, uh, negative one minus two, and negative three. That looks good right there. Okay, so that's what you need to be doing double checking your work as you go. All right, so at this point, let's continue on. And here, our next move is going to be negative one uh, times four is going to be negative four, and then I have plus one plus two, so this would be plus three. Okay, so again, I'm not doing all this work, I'm just taking it one little step at a time. And then negative three squared is what? Negative three times negative three, which of course is positive nine. All right, so we're almost there. We can see we have negative four plus three, which of course is what? That's negative one over nine, and you are done. This is the correct answer. All right, now if you got this uh, correct, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and a good old 1985 flat top haircut, A plus 100%, and just tell you that you are super awesome in algebra. Now, just because you got this right, don't get overconfident because this is kind of basic algebra. But this is a good indication that you know how to evaluate um, algebraic expressions or variable expressions. And this is going to come up a lot. Okay. Now, again, just because you can plug in uh, these the numbers, uh, uh, replace the variables with the particular numbers, what really gets students in trouble is not using parentheses and not really uh, taking uh, this problem slowly, you know, a few steps at a time. And of course, you're going to have to know the order of operations, positive, negative numbers, etc., etc. Okay, so that's how you deal with algebraic expressions and variable expressions. And if this little video helped you out, well, consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand math videos. It took me 10 years to post those 1,000 math videos, but uh, they range from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. I make uh, these videos for you to help you out in mathematics. But if you like my teaching style, you know, take advantage of my YouTube videos, but my best math help um, will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.